This is a story about how I could have died before even graduating high school. That is all the context you will get before the intro plays right now. Okay, so like I was saying before I cut myself off with my own intro, this is a story about how I basically could have died at the young age of 14. Like, you know, death is something that's present to all of us, but like, when you're growing up as like a kid through your teens, you kind of sort of just forget about it, because, you know, you're probably focused on video games or school. Just other stuff in life, like you get you get distracted away from like how death is a thing. Even though like you know you see it on movies and TV shows and cartoons, but it's like you don't really think about that much until you have your own brush with the inevitability the inevitability of death. And uh, so what happened to me was this was back in the summer of I want to say 2018. Yeah, I think 2018. Yeah, de definitely 2018. So I was enrolled in a summer school driver's ed program, which was a pretty smart choice if you ask me, because this way you didn't have to. You could get driver's ed out of the way, even though you, I wouldn't be able to have a license yet. I'd have driver's ed finished and ready for when I would turn. Uh, I think legal driving age is like 20. Yeah, so I'd be ready to just go get my license when I was when I turned 20 and um, yeah so I was doing that and on top of doing that during the summer I was also doing like a soccer training camp because I was a part of my high school soccer team freshman year uh, before I would stop we'll get to why I stopped later because it will also be covered in the story and um, so yeah I kind of just felt I kind of felt like I was getting burnt out because like it felt like 50% of my summer was towards driver's ed, and the other 50% was towards soccer. And one day, I think we were driving back home from church, because that's the only time I can ever remember me and all me and my parents all being in the car at the same time. And um, so, my dad, he's in the middle lane, just like a three-lane, three-lane road. My dad's in the middle lane. He is trying to get over into the right lane because he needs to take a stop somewhere before we go home. And um, on one of the streets that merges into the that merges onto the road, there was another person looking to turn right, and I guess he thought my dad was going to turn right, but he was going to turn right, allowing him to merge into the road off the street. But no, my dad just wanted to go from the middle lane to the right lane so they come out and we collide and crash well not so much crash more so bump into each other my dad was able to was able to hit the brakes to minimize the potential damage of what could happen thankfully none of us were injured no one was hurt uh, the car was low dented but other than that everyone was okay physically but mentally and emotionally I was not because like I was probably just gaming on my DS or 3DS or whatever I had at the time and all of a sudden just boom that happens and it had just shook me because like I couldn't stop thinking about it at the time because like if we were going faster we could have died or like we could like because like the right it was the right side yeah it was the right side of the car colliding with their left corner so like if it had been any worse my mom who's in the passenger seat in front of me could have been critically injured and 
or even worse. And then me, who knows what could have happened to me? I could have been could have been paralyzed from the waist down, maybe, or could have just wound up six feet under too. Like it was just nuts. And after that, I couldn't stop thinking about it, cause like. After the thought of I could have died after what just happened had hit me, I was just in full panic state. Like, I didn't feel like. And, like, one of the questions that hit me was, like, if I die, like, right now, will I be doing something? Like, will I have been enjoying my life up to this point? Like,. It was just all these questions that made me just fret and worry and worry to the point where I just didn't do anything. Uh, I didn't do anything besides uh, just lay down and sleep to try to just get myself to stop worrying. Like I fell asleep like I think it was five times in one day, but, but like because it was there were just naps, not so much just going into deep sleep. It was like. It was like just fall asleep, wake up, fall asleep, wake up, fall asleep, wake up. I felt like a whole month passed by, but in reality, it was just like a couple of hours, and I didn't feel any better. Like, cause again, I was just worrying, worrying, worrying. Didn't, know. and on top of that, also felt like my time was just slipping by. I wasn't doing the things that I wanted to do or that I love to do. Because again, driver's ed and soccer training camp. They were both burning me out because I was doing them both back to back. And uh, after making a decision to just stop doing soccer altogether and to just kind of just take some time to myself to just calm down and collect myself, I kind of just, this is when I would kind of just decide to just distract myself with stuff. To the, to the point where I just wouldn't worry. So like, oh yeah, I would distract myself so I wouldn't get to that point where I'd just be worrying about every single little thing. Because just, because again, you don't think of death that much until something happens to you or someone close to you. It's just a reminder that it can happen. And, you know, if it does happen, are you going to be satisfied with going out the way you did up to that point? And it was just another terrifying thing that hit me was just uh, the thought of just ending it all. But, like, I stopped myself because one thing that stops myself from doing, like, the question still comes up every now and then but like when I think about it I also think about like what happens like I just imagine what's gonna happen after I do this like and who's going to miss me who's going to feel sad who's gonna be let down by me doing this friends family the dog <laughs> but for real friends family acquaintances people you went to school with people who are like, this guy's got like a bright future, or like, this guy, this guy has, this guy has talent in something that I do not, and he just ended it all, what does that say about me? Like, it's just, just thinking about that just kind of keeps me going, on top of me also distracting myself with just multitasking, like just playing games, reading anime and manga, talking to friends, making videos, all that stuff like I just do so I try to do so much at the same time just to distract myself from just depressing sad thoughts like that and well I think I'm doing better seeing as you know that happened when I was 14 and you know managed to graduate high school currently enrolled in college got a job uh, Things have just been looking up now, but like just looking back, it's just like, you know, when death, you know, when the thought of just, when the thought of death knocks on your door, how do you recover from it? And again, that that's just how I recovered. 
distracting myself and thinking about all the people that would miss me. Because even if you think you're alone, you're not. There's always someone out there that's like, you know, either thankful to meet, either thankful that they met you or talked to you, or just someone that misses you, even, even if, even if you never hear from them again, or <clears throat> even if you don't know who they are, there's always someone out there that cares for you. So yeah, that's a story about how I could have died <clears throat> back in 2014. Uh, don't really know what to say after that. That was kind of a, it was kind of a darker story than I thought it'd be. Uh, yeah, hope y'all, uh, hope y'all like that. I'm trying something new, and uh, yeah, talk to y'all later. Stay fantastic. Big Mom Kaizokudan, Onigashima ni Joriku Magica to no Hoari. Iso ni Modori Masho. Mama. Ima wa shiku. だが今度こそ次はない。ああ、逃げるな、待て。ぜひ。ああ、てめえのせいで逃がしたじゃねえか。お兄ちゃん、どうして麦わらを捕まえないの？絶好のチャンスだったじゃない。奴らは逃げん。ママと合流して事態を報告する。体制を整え、カイドウの動きを警戒する方が